What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have another full week of workouts and to be honest my intentions for this week were to just do a normal vlog but I ended up filming way more of my workouts than like what I was doing at home and whatnot. So week of workouts it is. In this video you'll find three of my full workouts in the gym so if you ever want to try it for yourself definitely do so. Let me know. Tag me on Instagram if you do. I had a very jam-packed active week and I'm excited to take you through it. So hope you enjoy. Happy, happy Monday, you guys. I'm starting off this week with a leg day, more so focused on glutes and hamstrings. I've not deadlifted in a very long time. I want to get back into it though. You can see I just have a plate on each side. I wanted to focus on my form rather than pull in a lot of weight. I didn't want to injure myself. And for this, I did about four sets of 10. I did some glute bridges, which is another move that I haven't done in a long time. Honestly, I'm just really lazy when it comes to setting up the bar. I did a little glute bridge complex, if you will. I did 10 regular glute bridges followed by 10 pulse at the top glute bridges, which really gets the booty burn. And using one dumbbell, I did this deadlift to squat pulse move. Hinging at the hips to really feel that stretch in the hamstrings and then I'm pulsing down twice. I did a total of 10 of those for four sets. I did some glute kickbacks with the cable. Today I was just doing a lot of staple movements that I kind of strayed away from. But yeah, I really enjoyed this move. I forgot how good this burns the booty. Highly recommend. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm using the abductor machine and this is working my outer glute. Next, I did two rounds of this little series and this is gonna finish off my workout. So basically, I got a kettlebell that weighed about like 25 pounds or so. It was feeling relatively heavy at this point, but basically, I'm doing a five, four, three, two, one sequence. So I'm doing five weighted squats into five kettlebell swings. Right after that, I go into four squats, four kettlebell swings, and then I work my way down to one. After completing all of that once, I do it once more and then I'm done. I love doing some sort of like high intensity finisher at the end of my workouts because it just gets my heart rate up and it gets me sweating. So that was Monday's workout. <sighs> wow, you can see my pimple patches. Don't mind that. I've been sleeping earlier so that I can wake up at around seven, eight, getting a full night's rest so that I'm rested for an early morning workout. And it's been awesome. I love the feeling of just, whew. I'm gonna head back home now. I have a lot of editing to do, which is probably what I'll be doing for all of today. So here's what we got for lunch. It's kind of like a simplified bibimbap, which is like rice, vegetables, usually there's meat. Very simple because my mom already has these things prepared. I'm gonna make an egg to put on top of it. Ooh. And there we go. I've been editing for like the past hour, but yeah, now that I have my lunch, I'll take a little lunch break and just enjoy some YouTube. Let me know who your favorite YouTubers are. I feel like I need more people to watch. Vlogs, funny videos, pure entertainment, fitness, like literally anything, I just need something new. <laughs> Good morning, it is Tuesday and I've been up for a while. So I have a workout at nine. Right now it is 7.50. I needed like a little bit of food before I go. Something small to hold me over. So I cooked up some eggs, got a bowl of grapes here. The weather in the city is looking really nice this week. So I'm hoping that maybe today or like at least some point this week, I wanna do something outdoorsy and fun and active like a hike or a bike ride. Definitely gonna do that at some point. Good morning, it is Wednesday and I just finished a really solid morning of work. I got to the gym by 8 a.m., had a solid chest, triceps, push day. That was like an hour and a half and then I was gonna drive to the track field after to do either a couple laps or the stairs or some sort of cardio. But as I was driving there, I passed by Twin Peaks, which is like a very well-known lookout point in the city. And I was like, why don't I try running it? So I parked my car here at the bottom ran all the way to the top and it's such a beautiful day out so everything was clear i could see everything the last time i came here i biked and it was completely foggy and sad but yeah it was honestly a really fun run despite the beginning half being all uphill it was good i think what really helped me through is you can't see it alessa set live on soundcloud morning 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 
I feel like the only time I pull out the camera to vlog is like right before or after a workout. But to be honest, that's pretty much the bulk of my days lately. I'm off to work out again this morning at 9 a.m. It is Thursday. Thursday and I gotta get going. <laughs> I've got some ice cold liquid IV in here. Stay hydrated because I've not been drinking enough water lately. All right, I'll see you guys later. I promise today I'll do a better job of vlogging. Hello from the backyard. My mother and I have been having ourselves a little afternoon. It's like 80, 86 degrees and stuff, which is insane. Get martini. All right, so it is Friday. I'm back in the gym. And a goal of mine is that I want to try and hit legs twice a week. I just really like training legs and I also really want to grow my glutes. So yeah, we're back. I was gonna do squats, but all the squat racks were taken. So I just did the leg press instead. I loaded her up. It felt pretty heavy, but it felt great. I did about three sets of eight for these. I supersetted the leg press with this elevated frog stance squat. You can see my heels are elevated. I'm stepping on a plate. I have a 25 pound in my hand and I have my feet in a frog stance. Very narrow stance for the squat, but I really like to focus on the depth for this move. Doing 10 to 12 of these right after the heavy leg press, pretty killer. The next couple of moves you'll see are pretty much full body. Since it's nearing the end of the week, I like to just play around with full body moves. So I'm doing a single leg deadlift into a snatch to a shoulder press. I went for a little bit of a heavier weight and I did five to six reps on each side and then switched sides. Next, we're doing another sort of fun move. The move starts off with a front loaded squat pulls to a deadlift to a high pull. Then I switch arms. <laughs> the reason why I like doing moves like this is not only does it work a lot of different parts of my body, but it kind of makes my brain work too because there's a lot of different aspects. I really have to like stay focused so that I make sure I do the move correctly. Next, I'm just doing four sets of about 12 to 15 calf raises. Nothing too special here. To finish things off, I have one last super set. So I'm using the TRX bands to help me out with my pistol squats because my legs were totally dead at this point. I like the TRX bands for this a lot because you can get as little or as much help as you want. It just depends on like how much you're gripping it, I guess. I did five pistol squats on each leg and then I did 10 burpee tuck ups. I did that superset three to four times and that is another leg day in the gym complete. Good morning, so it is Friday. I just finished at the gym. I did like a kind of a full body workout, but not really, mostly legs. Um, and now I'm gonna go for a quick run around the neighborhood near my gym. I've never really ran in this area, but it's just such a nice day out and I wanna get a little bit of cardio in. So I'm just gonna explore. Got my music, got my mask, and I just need my car key. Today is definitely gonna be the hottest day of the week. So I wanna get this run over with in the morning time while it's still kind of early. Now it's like 9.30, but if I wait any longer in the day, it'll be scorching hot. So let's do it. <laughs> So I ended up having a very lazy Saturday, but I ended up dragging myself to the gym at night and I'm so happy I did. I'm taking you through a back and biceps workout. So I started off on the lat pull down bar. I'm doing this sort of complex where I do right side, left side, and then both. I tried to do about eight reps of these. It got pretty hard by the sixth, seven, eighth rep, but that's when you can just drop the weight. Next, I'm doing a super set where I'm still at the lat pull down bar, but I'm doing sort of like this chin up motion. I did 10 of those, 
followed by wide grip rows. So I'm standing up, as you can see, I have my foot propped up and just pull in the bar back. I did 10 of those and repeated that super set four times through. Next, I'm just doing these bent over rows. Please don't mind this very awkward angle. It's very hard to find angles in the gym when I don't have someone to record for me. But anyways, it's probably my favorite back exercise. I don't know why. I just feel so strong and in control. I supersetted those bent over rows with some bicep curls. I'm just doing 10 reps here using the straight bar. To really burn out those biceps, I'm doing these bicep curls with the dumbbells. While one arm is doing 10 bicep curls, the other one is being held at a 90 degree angle. And then I switch. After that bicep move, I'm supersetting it with a delt raise? Delt raise? In my seat, I just bend over slightly and really draw my elbows back. That way I can feel it in my delts. To finish things off, I'm doing three rounds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. I have kettlebells here, but you can use dumbbells. But basically, I'm just doing a row on the right, a row on the left, and two push-ups. I continue doing that for 30 seconds, I take a 30 second break, and then I'm back on. So three total rounds of that, and that's, that's it. If you're not stabilizing well on the kettlebells, it can get a little bit wobbly, so do, do be careful. You can also use dumbbells for this. But yeah, this was my Saturday night workout. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, and it has been a really good active week for me so far um I feel like on the weekends i pretty much like to just rest and not go to the gym or maybe just do something fun and active but this week i don't know i've been proving myself other ways i've just been feeling extra motivated whenever i have those periods of time like certain weeks certain days where i just feel extra motivated and want to get moving i make sure to always take advantage of it because it doesn't happen often. But anyways, today it is Sunday. I can definitely feel soreness in my body from this week, but I'm gonna go on a little hike by myself today. You can't really see anything, but I just parked so that I can hike Mission Peak. I've done this hike twice since quarantine. Once with my sister, once by myself, and then again today. My intention was to get out here super early, like five or six a.m. so that I could do like a sunrise hike, but um, I fell asleep at 2 a.m. last night and that didn't happen. So now it's about 10, 15. It looks like the trail's gonna have a lot of people because it was hard for me to find parking. Anyways, let's get to it, shall we? Oh, I'm almost to the very top. The peak is, I want to say, another half mile. The hardest part of the hike is over. takes photos on. I will not take any photo there. I will set my camera up here and show you the view. I'm back and I actually finished that within my Fitbit was tracking. Yeah I was able to finish that within like a little over two hours, which is not bad at all. The hike was 6.7 miles. We took like 14, almost 15,000 steps. That was intense, but definitely a lot better than previous times that I've been. I just vividly remember dying within the first half mile the last time I came. Like I couldn't even breathe. But today I was feeling good. It was very hot and I have some fun new tan lines now but yeah that is my activity for the day i'm gonna go home take a nice cold shower and i believe my parents are barbecuing outside so that'll be a good way to end this week all right you guys so that is going to conclude this week of workouts let me know what you think what you thought let me know what kind of workouts you want to see 
if you enjoy these gym ones or if you want more at home ones all these week of workout videos are going to differ from one another so if you haven't seen my last one definitely go check it out i did more home workouts and in this one obviously i went to the gym more because they're open here in the city but yeah let me know give me some feedback if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and yeah that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next one